Hey guys, Bill Jordan here. I'm at 201-790-3368. Call me, call me, call me. Why you wanna call me? Because I do candid video interviews, right? People buy from people they know, and the best way for them to know you is at the soul level with my candid video interview. You see, look guys, you can have a bunch of people interview you, but my thing is I hit them at the soul level. If you want this the mental thing, go ahead on. Go to CBS, whatever you gotta go. But if you wanna get them where it really counts, because everyone knows that once you get them on the soul level, they are soul. When they see your work, they don't rationalize all that stuff, you know? You have to tell your story. If you're not telling your story, you know, you're not really true to, true to yourself. What is art anyway but a story? It's a visual story, okay? And it has to, it, it's like, you know, think about it. Back in the day, if you believe in cave people, <laughs> you know, if you believe in cave people type scenario that everyone came out of a cave, you know, if you believe in that, then, you know, guys are hanging around, right? And, you know, they wrote things on the wall to show, to leave a record maybe, maybe history, histograph or whatever they want to call it, of what took place. But if a guy was there, who actually experienced what was there, he could, he could elaborate and say, well, this is what went down, right? Just like you have a picture of somebody. You have a picture of your family member or something, you know? But the family member said, well, this is what really went down, blah, blah, blah. Even worse, the news, you know what I'm saying? The news will give you one position and the people who were there will say, no, that's not what really happened, man. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing with your story, man. You think that because you have a piece of art that your story is being conveyed. I got news for you. Most people don't think in terms of conveying stories, right? What they do is they think in terms of, artists, I mean, they think in terms of representing what they see or expressing how they feel. Now that's, expressing how you feel could be a story, but it's hard to really figure out because it's really super personal. And that's why, you got to call me so that we can work together and tell your story to get it out there so that people are clear about what you're conveying on the soul level. Now you're going to say, well, I don't really know what I'm saying. It's just, it just comes to me naturally and I'm supposed to just follow the thing. That could be true. However, traditionally, right? And I don't think things have changed that much. Traditionally, even those shamanistic type guys, you know, that information came to them. They had a format that they used to, you know, show the information. You see, in other words, like they have a they had a purpose for, 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 for their for their work. What is the purpose of your work? Is it just for self or is it to raise the consciousness of the community? Because it's a story, that's what it has to do. This may sound repetitive. But I'm, this is what I'm doing today. We're talking about story, all right? So now, what are we talking about there? Right, um, right. Now, the reason why you wanna call me is because we're gonna tell you a story. In addition to that, we're gonna tell it frequently. See, it's just because the cycle of the story starts off at say 12 o'clock and ends at 12 o'clock. And each, like, each day is, is the same thing. It's a perfect analogy. See. Your storytelling is like the clock. It's gonna start at 12 and it's gonna end at 12 and it starts again and it keeps spiraling up. So every day is a different story. Every day is a different version of the same story, right? Isn't that how life is? But by telling your story, it can, do, it can help you be a better storyteller as an artist, a, a better visual storyteller, and it can give you insight in how you, to tell your story better, right? If you don't tell your story, then you're just running around with the demons flapping in your head. See, the energy that comes out of telling the story will, will put those guys to rest. It will give you the, the hero feeling. You will have overcome the trials and tribulations. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do, right? Isn't, isn't that what you want to do? All right. Now, my name is Bill like Clinton, Jordan like Michael. Call me on 201 790 Three, three, six, eight, all right? If you're a painter, sculptor, or a candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. People buy from people they know.
And the best way for them to know you is with my candid video interview. Don't worry about how I look. I want you to know that I'm a master of getting stories in at the soul level. All right? Go to my book. It's on YouTube. Part one's on YouTube now. And you can see the place where I train. And if you tell me if that place doesn't make you know that I, I, I did something, something, then we shouldn't even talk. If you can't feel me in here, then we shouldn't even talk. Go back to the NBCs, go back to the polite people, be nice and cute. Nice and cute is not gonna make you do it. I'm not saying you have to be rude and vulgar, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying you have to be energized, energetic. You have to get up off your duff and start staying behind your easel, right? And thinking that's gonna take you to Valhalla. That's not gonna take you to the promised land, man. That's like an oar, you need a boat, you know what I'm saying? It's a two-part process, man. It's a multifaceted process. This is one of the things. I'm not going to say it's the only thing. That'd be silly. But it's an important thing to tell your story. Why? Because look around. Who's doing it? Who is the bad boy, the bad girl in the art world today? Not just in your genre. I know you know all the, all the luminaries. The, 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 I'm not talking about those guys. I mean, they're half dead anyway. I'm talking about, you know, Guys you see on the front page of Time Magazine. I'm talking about the guys you see talked about on, on Fox News, you know. He's an artist, but the rappers got that down tight, right? They're bad boys, sagging, you know, killing people, going to jail. They do that so they can get press, you know that. I'm not saying you go to jail. I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't say you do that. But I'm saying do something. Call me, 201-790-3368. That's the first step, right? I believe that uh, people buy from people they know. And the best way for people to know you is with my candid video interview. Why? Because it gets to them on the soul level. That's where you want to be, man. Cut the other stuff out. Don't think it's, it's pretty, it's cute. Oh, that's an after effect. But the gut thing is what makes people work. Get them on the soul level. 201-790-3368. Bill Jordan.